Well, here we are. Let's take a look at our starting situation. Obviously, Mauritania is looking a little bit different than it did in previous updates. We've got two new tags here that have both been, or three new tags actually, that have been released from these various areas. We've got a bunch of new nation names, flags, uh, and m importantly, national ideas for every single nation. We're gonna go with Zorin here. Uh, they're, they're not necessarily the intended nation, but we've got cores over here and a subject over here. So realistically, we've got some strong opening moves. So we are going to initially start off here. Hmm. So we don't need to worry about anything past. Uh, we'll have to see. I think I'm going to hold off on selecting our DD until we know the diplomatic situation. Uh, I, I guess I could also take a look here at our national ideas, so Zormic ideas. We get uh, dev cost as well as innovativeness gain, so we can start stacking up some mana saving stuff early on. Uh, Diplo rep, uh, legitimacy, land attrition, and land leader maneuver, followed by merc cost, so we can definitely get some of those later on. Trade efficiency, an extra merchant and caravan power, and then merc discipline. So clearly we're going to be leaning into that with a finisher of a very beefy 10 goods produced go ahead and pick our usual ones here we'll go with religious diplomats as well we are surrounded um this is scaled off their influence that is fine with me and let's see here i don't know missionary strength but no we're not going to be doing any tax modifiers or anything like that i don't think we need the admin mana but we'll take it anyways we're small enough that I'm not too stressed and we'll be able to conquer enough land that uh, we'll, we'll get that. Um, I don't think I want to do increased levies this time around. We've got a subject, so I think that that might be good enough for us. We'll go with supremacy over the crown and I will go ahead and go with officer rights. I think that is fine. I don't want to give up that 10% crown land. Oh, also we want that mill mana for sure. And then I will sell titles rather than give up this extra 10 for this one, no need. Uh, patronage of the Arts is always good for that extra prestige. Let's go indebted to our uh, burgers, free enterprise and monopoly rights. No, national tax is good. Gives them extra influence though. Not sure if that's necessary for us. The trade efficiency and merchant trade power at cost for remote mercantilism. Let's go ahead and go with that. Summon a diet here. Uh, seven dev in our capital. Well, I don't think it's our capital actually, but that's fine. It's drylands, so we'll be all right with that. Let's go ahead and rival some boys. Saffon up here to the north, Yamor down here to the south, and then Bellica up a little bit more to the north. So that means I might be able to pick up a friend somewhere. Tyrosel would probably be a good shout. They're basically our only real option here. Uh, and then these guys, we're going to try to attack them basically day one. So we've got enough force limit for a couple more. We've got an economy, at least a little bit of one. We've got six light ships. Let's go ahead and have them protecting trade here in the Mauritania node. Not the best node, but you know, we'll move it eventually. We can build up a building, but I'm not really too fussed about that. We've got our burger loans. We can grant generalship and that gave us a one, one, three, two. Is that two? Did I see two siege pips? Yes, not bad at all. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and unpause here. We definitely need to keep an eye on their diplomatic situation. Otherwise, we will attack them literally day one, December 12th. They allied my friend. God dang it. Well, that's annoying. That's all right. We should be able to stack wipe them. And um, if anything, I, I may end up just, you know, uh, annexing both of them or subjugating one of them at the very least. Oh, come on now. All right. So let's have you guys head over here. Obviously, them grouping up is going to be a little problematic for us. But it should be okay. As long as they don't group up their entire army. Actually, even if they do, 6k and 4k. So our numbers are pretty even. I can take mill if I need to. I'd rather not, of course. But if I do need to, it's really not an issue. All right. So if they come in to attack my subject, I actually totally forgot about my subject. Let's have them attach to me. We've even got a morale of armies guy with us. How pleasant is that? This is mountains, actually. Hmm. That minus two is definitely not ideal. That's okay. Now you guys don't need to attach to me anymore. Right. We've got our navy. 
I am going to go ahead and spend the Diplo on an Admiral, just so we can get this blockade. That extra siege progress is, uh, is quite useful. Mm-hmm. Now, we don't have a, um, we don't have a fort on our capital either. I'm going to need to siege these guys down. I do think I will probably subjugate them. I think that's probably the move. Because these guys are allied to Swaby. These guys are not allied to anybody. Okay, well, let's go ahead and mark them as a vital interest here. We do have a mission tree that will allow us to get some uh, claims here. Uh, obviously, we want to. I don't. I decided to declare the war immediately, mostly just because I had, um, I had that going for me. So let's go ahead and go with the manpower. It'll help us get it up just a little bit faster. No big deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clear my throat there. And it uh, should be good. Now we're just going to need to wait it out. Uh, since these are our cores, we can take them for very cheap. We very well may be able... They're not co-belligerented, but we can subjugate them in the same war. Expulsion of the Scarlet Delegation. Very cool. We do need to keep an eye on Swaby. They were nerfed quite heavily in 14 or in 1.1. Uh, but um, hopefully that won't be too much... Hopefully they won't be too much of a menace for us. Carthage also received a uh, modifier, a, a, a um, what you call it, a privilege in 1444 that uh, nerfs their navy or their military rather quite heavily. So could be good for us. So they've got an army. They got 8k total. I don't know. Their other ones are sitting over there. They're scared. Okay, here they go. So it's all right. I mean, this is a base race that I am very much willing to participate in because if they go into my capital, they will get squished. <laughs> they come over here. They will get fought in a one-to-one. -one. All is honestly fine. Oh, hey, they have promoted a minister so I can get another general and some mill mana with two shock. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. I don't even care about the the two mountains. Let's go. We're good. <laughs> we stack wiped them. Oh, I'm in awe. I am in awe. That was both of their armies at the same damn time, bro. Okay, so we're going to do a little shuffle split here. Oh, right. That fort is going to prevent us from doing anything fun. That is so good. Oh my gosh. How good is that? Uh-huh. I lost mill access through these guys because reasons. Please give mill access. Thank you. Now they can only pop an army out of one province down here. Oh, the Fertile Fields of Moria. Okay, I got this a little faster than I kind of would have expected to get. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna tweak that. I, I should not be getting this event this early. No, I lied. It's fine. It is as a, it's working as intended. So I get some grain production, which is nice. Some base production in Zorim, which is nice. That's some, uh, some uh, development on our grain. We also get production efficiency as well as um, manpower in those two provinces, which is great. I'm, I'm looking for some manpower. So that's good little bit of development is uh, very much going to be helpful. So clearly we're going to need to get these guys occupied. Malachi over there. Serranus, the man himself. Um, now, am I going to be able to occupy this? This is Highlands, so I can probably, if they want to fight, they can fight. Oh, disease outbreak. We've got a uh, call for pizza. But um, I'm going to ride it out. We're going to ride it out. I don't care about Bellica's opinion on me. They can kick rocks. They suck. Let's also make sure we are spying on these guys. And let's see here. We need to have at least two friends or three subjects. Well, I could vassalize. No, these guys have cores. So I'll annex them. These guys don't have any friends yet. So I can attack these guys right now and vassalize them. But I'm going to need to vassalize these guys. So that's the plan. I'm going to vassalize these guys, annex these guys, and then attack and vassalize these guys. Assuming they have not gotten any more friends. Uh, in order to vassalize these guys, I'm probably going to have to 100% them. That is fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and just go with trade efficiency and goods produced then. I think we are clearly doing fine on that. Uh, he's only 32. And our heir is 23. Dagon. Very cool. Should be fine, though. Oh, he's got shock damage received on a sick shock general. I'm in awe. What a freaking Chad Lord that guy is. And we're going to finish this siege as well. We're not going to get too much devastation. Or uh, war exhaustion, rather. 50%. Come on, baby. Ow. Paradox, please. 21. We won that one. Very good. And uh, we will... 
have these guys finished off here. We'll make them a vassal of ours. 52 AE, legendary. They are quite upset, but they will be loyal before too long, which is great. Let's go ahead and improve relations with our subjects here while at the same time declaring war on these guys. So they've got claims via their missions, actually. So that's super good for us. Um, now it's going to cost us Diplo, but we're going to get a free vassal out of it. If anything, I may actually annex them and then release them. That's a that's a great way to go about it. So here we go. Let's have these guys come down here. Should be able to uh, lay the smack down on them. That is a fort right there, of course. We got our four stock. This is our uh, our Giga Chad general, so I don't think they're going to attack me. Oh, yikes. I hate that. Hate to lose a stab, but it is what it is. Let's boost it up to plus one. So they're growing men out of the ground, though. If they want to siege me down, they're going to have to siege down a mountain fort. So I'm really not too worried about it. Let's also make sure we are improving with use boys and uh, I should have cored this up. I could concentrate, but I think it's fine not to. I'm not going to build spy network or anything either. I don't want to I don't want to lose any of their um, their possible friendliness. Oh, yeah, so much for manpower. See, I'm not even following the mission tree that I designed. I made the generic like the shared mission tree of the Mauritanians. So rip me. <laughs> it's fine, though. Once we get the siege down, um, you know, this hurts me a lot more than it hurts you and all that. But that's fine. So once we get them happy, we can pay off their debts. They will be very loyal very soon. Oh, even better. They want to go sit on my uh, my subject's mountain fort or Highlands fort. Be my guest. I'll come over there and stack wipe you, homie. Do me a solid, please. Oh, no, we got a disease outbreak and I have no manpower. I should have gone with Mercs already, honestly. This is perfect. Oh, my gosh, that's actually perfect. <laughs> uh huh. Let's get you over there. We've got no siege on you either, so that's kind of foolish. But I do need to keep my general over here just to prevent them from getting onto me. That'll give me an instant plus 14% chance, which is going to be very useful. Plus 20% even. All right. Oh, they got a wall breach, naturally. But again, I'm willing to base race. We can get a Mystic Scholar here. Prestige? I mean, I don't hate the idea. It costs me admin mana, but I think that's fine. High prestige is going to be very useful. But with this war, we're going to actually have like a very large portion of Mauritania already under our control. So that's that's very solid. Let's get uh, him over there and then we'll get the rest of these guys uh, carpet sieging these Johns. Hopefully my subjects will help me with this battle. That's a Highlands province, so we should be able to beat the tar out of them. Maybe even wipe them. Perfect. And that is a wrap. All right, cool. So let's see here. I want to full annex you. It costs me not that much Diplo, actually. Take all of their money. Um, and then I will turn around and I will release them. They get the free cores. And then all I need to do, it, it, it resets our relations, which is really good. Uh, we have a lot of land like very early on. We're going to be able to get this Morian dip uh, relations up here. All we need to do is improve our relations with our three subjects. Ports of plenty, number of home ports. We've only got five. We're going to need to go to war with these guys. Olivaria is not somebody I'm concerned about. However, I'm going to need to get those claims. So I think we're going to sit pretty for a bit. I think we're going to consolidate our regiments, maybe get some mercs and uh, chill up to 17 force limit already, which is absolute insanity. So yeah, we're just hanging out and waiting. We are just waiting. We can rival Carthage. Sounds good to me, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and consolidate these regiments. That will bring us down to nine. And then I will get right. We've got some. We've got some. A one five two four. Or we could go with the free company. Um, man. I think we're just going to keep them. Uh, we can turn off our army maintenance. We don't have any rebels looking to fire. Have these guys attach. And we can take Miltech. Absolutely. We'll, I will happily Royal marry all of my subjects as well. Keep them. Uh, keep those relations nice and high. 
want to make sure that we are keeping everything. Oh, these guys are animist. Of course they are. Okay. I knew that. I did know that. We've got war rep or war uh, exhaustion. So yeah, we're just going to sit back and kind of let our manpower recover for a bit. Oh, we need to be built up to 100% of our force summit as well. All right. More mercs it is, I suppose. Luckily, we're, we're making good money. Enough that I think I can actually even justify a um, an advisor here. Eh, or not. We're, we're, we have a good split here. I don't, our first idea group, I think, is going to have to be Explo. So let's go ahead and focus on dip, actually. Numidia wants support and independence. I don't think I want to get involved with that, if I'm being honest. Because I believe we're going to need to take Adana's capital there. Uh, Mechabir, or Merkabir Mer Mer there. Yeah, we're going to need that province. So I'm not, I'm not going to be too fussed about that. We're just going to let you guys kind of do your own thing. Not a concern of mine. Not a concern of mine. Do I need to own it directly as well? Yeah, 30 owned provinces in the region. Okay, not a problem. We're not going to be able to do it until admin 10 anyway, so there is no major rush. No rush at all. And we will just kind of sit here and chill for a bit. Get our relations up. That Diplomana will be useful for getting our technology. We are focused on Diplotech as well. Oh, not too bad. I would love to attack these guys, but yeah, the manpower alone is is already enough to uh, make it a little painful. Um, right. I've grown quite a bit, so let's just repay all those loans. If I need to take more burger loans, I will. We're up to thirteen uh, crown land, eighteen crown land, and uh, I've only seized once, so <laughs> that's pretty good, right? Uh, I would love that fifteen percent tax modifier, though. So we'll see how things go with that. Obviously, we don't want to fall behind on mill, but I want to do some development. We'll probably need to develop the Renaissance, or maybe not. It's hard to say. Feudalism going on in Yamor, very good. That means they may actually be behind. Yeah, they're behind on Miltech. Shoot, man. I think I just got to do it. I don't have a spy network on them, though. Right. So without our manpower and being up to our force limit, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot. So I think that's honestly just on me. Mm-hmm. Not the best trade land that we've got here either. That's okay. So you guys are at 100. You guys are at 100. There you go. 100 Diplomana and a level 2 advisor half off. I don't think we can really afford that, if I'm being honest. Two ducats a month. I'll swing it. I'll swing it. It's fine. Being ahead of time on tech... Helps us the um, that twenty percent trade efficiency as well, so he'll help pay for himself. Well, he'll be partially paid for, but the extra diplomat is going to be really useful. Okay, so let's uh, get started on some spy network over here. And you can, if you don't know, if you have a diplomat here, you can use the hostile trading. So instead of gaining a one point four every month, we gain one point eight. So point four, point three nine increase. So quite a good bit of chunk of growth there. Uh, not going to be worth it. Ports of plenty. We need five home ports and naval force. Naval built up to 90% of our naval force limit. Simple enough. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, preempt that by building these guys up. And let's have you guys with him in charge go to um, protect trade. I don't know why that's showing up there. What is that? What is that? That was so weird. <laughs> A little weird graphical glitch there. No big deal. Making a half a duck in a month with a level two advisor. Not too bad. Yes, yeah, so we're going to need 17 or 70. Yeah, 7,000. And uh, get some more mercs. We can do that. We'll be able to swing that financially as well. So we need five more. Of course, it won't be enough. Hmm. I think it's best if I, uh, if I just wait. If I just wait on this rather than, but the spy network will be nice because it'll help us get the, get the siege ability. Olivaria, I'm sure is not going to be very useful. Assuming they can even get over, I can probably blockade them. Five transports, three, three gen, uh, Admiral though. It's pretty solid. No, I will not lose manpower. You jerks. I will not. I refuse. Oh, we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, bring in that extra 
infantry. And that way I can hire the free company here. And then I just need to wait until we have 75, give or take. Being ahead of time for that production efficiency is also very helpful. We are losing men to attrition over here. There we go. Not too bad. Get the galley fleet grouped up. And just like that, we've got four galleys. These are coasts, so galleys do extra damage. Not a ton, but still, they're not going to have any heavy ships or anything. At least I'd be very surprised if they did. The Renaissance is here. And uh, how are we looking on the Renaissance? Will I receive it in any meaningful way? No. Okay. So a lot of these guys over here are. So we'll probably get it. It'll just be slow. Looks like feudalism is already going on in Saxony. Okay. <laughs> Prestige or money. A half off admin advisor would be nice. Let's go ahead and do it. You can't buy mana. So we'll go ahead and take that. I'm okay with running a slight deficit. I don't think it's actually going to be 0.3. Oh, it is 0.3. Hmm. Yeah, we can get rid of this guy whenever. Gisco Gisco. <laughs> Barkus Hano. They have cool names, man. You got to admit. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep this guy as long as we can. Ideally, we're going to at least get this uh, Diplotech. And then we'll be able to worry about that later. And uh, we're one step closer here. Maybe another year or so. Have they gotten any more friends? Just Olivaria. Man, that'd be great. How do you have a conquest, CB? Oh, they claimed it. They actually got a claim on that. That's just a regular old fabricated claim. I love that. That's good stuff. All right. Now, my subjects are all loyal. Yeah, this is good. Vassal Swarm. We're making lots of money from them as well. Heck yeah, bro. All right. Let's go speed five for a couple of months here. Let that manpower tick up. Hopefully not get too many distractions. People are claiming stuff. They've claimed a province. <clears throat> Let's recall you. Might as well just make sure we are improving relations with our subjects. <clears throat> Excuse me. My goodness. I got to fix my mute button there. Okay. Hey, and just like that, we've got our claims there. Lose a little bit of prestige is fine. Let's get our army maintenance turned up here. We've got plenty of mercs, so I'm not too fussed about that. Let's have you guys head on over there with our admiral. And then have these guys go home at war. And then uh, let's declare this war. Olivaria will join. But luckily for me, I don't give a rip. So we'll go for Susan, I assume. Now uh, they're both seven devs, so it doesn't really matter. And they don't have a fort, so we should be able to just head on down. Oh, they do have a fort. Son of a biscuit. Okay, let's have you guys stay back here. And have these guys head on up there. Zero Siege General, of course. So... Let's have you guys do something like this. With a general... Do not, however, attach to me, though, please. <laughs> you guys are going to rot me to attrition. Olivaria is stuck over here and they cannot join. I will actually have these guys come up and attach. Go ahead and send home the busted up ships. Got to keep an eye on that, though. Because I reckon they will be a little aggressive if they see blood in the water. All right, we're going to have to get rid of this guy. Can't afford him. That is okay, though. Yeah, I forgot about my subjects. The numbers are always much better for subjects. They may even go up there and siege them down for me. That would be so funny. Making really good progress on a level 3 mountain fort. Oh, Highlands. It's not mountain. We got busted spying. Let's see here. Can I do anything with my spy network? No. That's okay. We'll just keep it for the siege ability. The siege ability alone is, is worth spying on. Here you go. Get you guys over here. They're thinking about it. They're like, oh, I could attack these guys, I bet. I bet I could attack them. <laughs> no, don't do it. It's a trap because I can scorch this province and then uh, I will make them pay if they if they make that decision. This is Drylands over here as well. So uh, this may actually be some time for some uh, stacking wiping on these boys. 
Let's get you guys over here. That is going to be game blouses. Now, I suppose I could just go up and siege down Olivaria. Not really seeing much change over here. It does look like Tarvalia. Went with a Carantis. Okay. So I think they seeded some land up here to the Gauls. I think. I could be wrong. Um, do we have mill access through any of this? We do. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I will have you guys head up here and we'll just march on up. No big deal. They'll siege it down eventually. I'm not too fussed about it. I would like to siege down Tenerife and uh, Kanar as well. That way I can get those. Let's go with... Mm-hmm. National tax in the Adderham, Adderham Ball. Cav cost, army tradition. You know, I'm going to go with the tax, actually. <laughs> Might sound kind of kind of goofy, but we're, uh, we're making... We're struggling with money. I'm going to give this over to one of my subjects as well, so I'm not paying for it. It's a nice little thing you can do. If you didn't know, now you do. You can transfer subjects to your um to your army or to your subject. Transfer occupations and then you don't have to pay for them. It's really nice. So these guys got 10k. Okay. We've got uh Adalanim over here. Adalanim or however that name is pronounced, so we can be able, come on up. Fight them in the grasslands here. A whip month has just passed. So even if he uh, survived here, they promote a minister, huh? This event happened again. My goodness. Oh, I, I wiped him. Nice. Well, how about that? And let's come on down here. Speed five the rest of the war and uh, wrap up the episode here. I do hope you guys are enjoying. <laughs> so far, so good, huh? So far, so dang good. Zero siege. We've got uh, no general. Two siege over here. I'm just gonna loot these guys up. Uh huh. Take diplotech, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just take diplotech. That way I can save up my mana. I will not do that. A little bit of looting is just for good measure. I'm not gonna need another general or anything like that. Couple months there. I will have them. Give me all their monetary reps. That is so much money. Oh my gosh. Oh baby. I am uh, going to be debt free. Unlike in real life where I am suffering. Okay, so we will transfer this over to myself. Are they going to make me occupy it? Nope. They're willing to do it. Nice. And there you go. I will actually yoink some dev from over here though. For... This one is an extra dev. That is fine and dandy with me. I will core it all up, putting us even more behind on tech. Ports of plenty. So you can see here we can go with 10 prestige and a level 2 trader who's half off. Or uh, we own at least a level 2 center of trade. It will uh, uh, be upgraded. Uh, random owned coastal province center of trade in the Mauritania region that has at least level 2 will be upgraded. Okay, so I reckon we're going to wait. Upgrade our uh, Aradum. And get a level 3 foe free. Because that'll help us uh, keep some trade from going out that way. Yeah, that sounds good. We also can go with regional rule to gain a free stability. As well as a permanent claim on the entire region. And uh, it's all gravy from here. Anyways guys, if you are enjoying Post Freedom and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss out when these videos go up live every weekday. Special thanks to Kaiser Dar of Akadia, Geo, Gamus23, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Josh Kipchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Isaiah, Grover, Bubba J, Saranska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Nathan Albright, and many more.